After a series of missteps, Joe Biden boards Air Force One taking smaller steps. The grandiose exit has become less frequently used by the U.S. president in favor of a staircase that is closer to the runway. Joe Biden has begun boarding Air Force One with fewer stairs, which looks to be another adaptation to the U.S. president's advanced age. In recent months, Mr. Biden has tended to use a smaller flight of stairs that retracts into the plane's belly rather than the larger, more typical exit and entry point at the front of the aircraft. Politico was the first outlet to publish the move, claiming that White House staffers were making every effort to downplay any signs of physical frailty in the 80-year-old Mr. Biden. The president has tripped numerous times while walking up the stairs of Air Force One, putting concerns over his age under a global spotlight. Poll after poll has shown concern over Mr. Biden's age is a major concern for voters as he seeks a second term in 2024. Mr. Biden had traditionally used the front of the presidential aircraft to board Air Force One, which requires a set of 26-odd steps that are transported to the plane door by a truck and can often be wobbly. Eagle-eyed White House reporters noticed Mr. Biden has begun using a staircase that folds into Air Force One and is closer to the tarmac, with roughly 14 steps. The lower stairs are traditionally used by presidents when the larger, portable staircase is impractical for instance during bad weather. The White House has publicly refuted claims that the change is due to mobility concerns. When a reporter asked the White House press secretary, Karina Jean-Pierre, if the change was due to Mr. Biden's recent falls on the stairs, she replied, I don't have any decision process to walk through. She added, I'm sure there's a protocol that's used for the, for Air Force One. I just don't have one. However, Two of Mr. Biden's advisers privately confirmed to Politico that there had been an intentional shift to make the president's travel easier. It is one of a number of accommodations the White House is believed to have made for America's oldest president, from restricting his daily public engagements and limiting his travel schedule. His decision to wear trainers to board Air Force One for his recent trip to London was another concession to the president's sage, the outlet reported. Mr. Biden was previously committed to only wearing smart shoes, believing anything else would be unpresidential, according to one insider, but has eased up on that stance. The president's gait has become noticeably stiffer in the last year and he is still occasionally bothered by a break in his right foot which he suffered while playing with one of his dogs more than two years ago. Mr. Biden used the smaller stairs to board Air Force One for every leg of his recent European tour which included stops in London, Vilnius, and Helsinki. While he used the large, grander stairs to disembark for formal greeting ceremonies in each of the three cities, he did not use them to climb back on board. Nevertheless, Mr. Biden still stumbled halfway up the shorter steps ahead of a flight from Helsinki last week after meeting Nordic leaders. Mr. Biden has frequently used the smaller steps on domestic trips to and from Chicago, San Francisco, Philadelphia, and Rocky Mount. Mr. Biden, 80, has suffered a series of well-documented falls since becoming the oldest U.S. president following his election in November 2020. Mr. Biden is not the first president to fall foul of the Air Force One steps. Barack Obama and Ronald Reagan were both caught on camera losing their footing while deplaning. And Gerald Ford was ruthlessly mocked as klutz in chief when he fell down the final few Air Force One steps on a visit to Austria. Mr. Biden's most dramatic recent stumble occurred when he tripped and fell over a sandbag on stage while giving out diplomas at a military graduation ceremony in June. The president made light of the incident, joking, I got sandbagged as he arrived back at the White House afterward. But the string of incidents has only increased concerns over his mental and physical fitness to serve in America's highest office. A White House official told Politico of the use of Air Force One staircases, there are a series of factors that go into the logistical decision-making on this. This includes weather, what kind of airport we're landing at and whether there is a formal greeting plan for the tarmac where we expect that press will want an official photo at the bottom of the tall stairs, the official said. The official added, there's not one hard and fast rule, it is a decision made on a variety of factors in a wide range of settings and circumstances.